Nikola Tesla was born an ethnic Serb in the village of Smilan in Lika County, which was part of the Austrian Empire, present-day Croatia. His father, Miluthim Tesla was an Eastern Orthodox priest. Tesla's mother, Juka, had never received a formal education, although had a very good memory and was bright. Nikola credited his eidetic memory and creative abilities to his mother's genetics and influence. Tesla was the fourth of five children. He had three sisters, Milka, Angelina, Marika, and an older brother named Dane, who was killed in a horse riding accident when Tesla was five. The popular legend tells that he was born in the midst of a horrific lightning storm. The storm was so bad that the midwife got scared and told Tesla's mother that because of the nasty weather, the baby would be a child of darkness. Nicola's mother on the other hand promptly told the midwife, no, he will be a child of light. Nicola Tesla attended primary school in Milan and completed middle school in Gospic when his family moved there in 1862. In 1870 Tesla moved to Karlovask to attend high school. He was able to perform integral calculus in his head, which prompted his teachers to believe that he was cheating. Tesla would later write that he became interested in demonstrations of electricity by his physics professor. He noted that these demonstrations of this mysterious phenomena made him want to know more of this wonderful force. After finishing the high school Nikola Tesla returned to Milan. Shortly after he arrived he contracted cholera and was bedridden for nine months. He was near death multiple times. Fortunately he recovered. In his diary he said that Mark Twain's works had helped him to miraculously recover from his illness. In 1874, Tesla evaded conscription into the Austro-Hungarian army by running away to a forest near Grachax. There he explored the mountains wearing hunter's garb. Tesla said that this contact with nature made him stronger, both physically and mentally. In 1875, Nikola Tesla enrolled at Austrian Polytechnic in Graz on a military frontier scholarship. During his first year, Tesla never missed a lecture and earned the highest grades possible. Tesla claimed that he worked from 3 a.m. to 11 p.m., no Sundays or holidays accepted. At the end of his second year, he lost his scholarship and became addicted to gambling. During his third year, Nikola Tesla gambled away his allowance and his tuition money. Later he gambled back his initial losses and returned the balance to his family. Tesla said that, he conquered his passion then and there. He did not receive grades for the last semester of the third year and he never graduated from the university. In December 1878, Nikola Tesla left Graz and severed all relations with his family. To hide the fact that he dropped out of the university. Tesla moved to Mariba, where he worked as a draftsman for 60 florins per month. In March 1879, his father Miluthim went to Mariba to beg his son to return home, but he refused. Nikola suffered his first nervous breakdown around that time. On the 24th of March 1879, Nikola Tesla was returned to Gospich under police guard for not having a residence permit. In April 1879, Miluthim Tesla died at the age of 60. After his father's death, Tesla found a package of letters from his professors to his father, warning that unless he were removed from the university, Tesla would die through overwork. In January 1880, two of Tesla's uncles put together enough money to help him leave Gospic for Prague, where he was to study. He arrived too late to enroll at Charles Ferdinand University. He had never studied Greek, a required subject, and he was illiterate in Czech, another required subject. Nikola however, attended lectures in philosophy at the university as an auditor and he did not receive grades for the courses. In 1881, Nikola Tesla moved to Budapest to work at a telegraph company, the Budapest Telephone Exchange. Upon arrival, Tesla realized that the company, then under construction, 
was not functional so he worked as a draftsman in the Central Telegraph office instead. Within a few months, the Budapest telephone exchange became fully functional and he was allocated the chief electrician position. During his employment, Tesla made many improvements to the central station equipment and claimed to have perfected a telephone repeater, or amplifier, which was never patented nor publicly described. In 1882, Tivedar Pascas got him another job in Paris with the Continental Edison Company. Nikola Tesla began working in what was then a brand new industry, installing indoor incandescent lighting citywide in the form of an electric power utility. Management took notice of his advanced knowledge in engineering and physics. They soon had him designing and building improved versions of generating dynamos and motors. They also sent him on to troubleshoot engineering problems at other Edison utilities being built around France and in Germany. In 1884, Edison manager Charles Batchelor who had been overseeing the Paris installation was brought back to the US to manage the Edison machine works and asked that Tesla be brought to the US as well. In June 1884, Nikola Tesla emigrated to the United States. He began working almost immediately at the machine works on Manhattan's Lower East Side. It was an overcrowded shop with a workforce of several hundred machinists, laborers, managing staff, and field engineers struggling with the task of building the large electric utility in that city. As in Paris, Tesla was working on troubleshooting installations and improving generators. One of the projects given to him was to develop an arc lamp based street lighting system. Arc lighting was the most popular type of street lighting but it required high voltages and was incompatible with the Edison low voltage incandescent system, causing the company to lose contracts in cities that wanted street lighting as well. Tesla's designs were never put into production possibly because of technical improvements in incandescent street lighting or because of an installation deal that Edson cut with an arc lighting company. Nikola Tesla had been working at the machine works for a total of six months when he quit. What event precipitated his leaving is unclear. It may have been over a bonus he did not receive, either for redesigning generators or for the arc lighting system that was shelved. Tesla had previous run-ins with the company over unpaid bonuses he believed he had earned. Nikola's diary contains just one comment on what happened at the end of his employment, a note he scrawled across the two pages covering, goodbye to the Edison machine works. Soon after leaving the Edison company, Tesla was working on patenting an arc lighting system. In March 1885, he met with patent attorney Lemuel W. Searle to obtain help with submitting the patents. Searle introduced Nicola to two businessmen, Robert Lane and Benjamin Vale, who agreed to finance a company in his name. The company was named the Tesla Electric Light and Manufacturing. Tesla worked for the rest of the year obtaining the patents that included an improved DC generator, and building and installing the system in a way. Nikola Tesla's new system gained notice in the technical press, which commented on its advanced features. But, the investors showed little interest in Tesla's ideas for new types of alternating current motors and electrical transmission equipment. After the utility was up and running in 1886, they decided that the manufacturing side of the business was too competitive and opted to simply run an electric utility. They formed a new utility company, abandoning Nikola's company and leaving the inventor penniless. Nikola Tesla even lost control of the patents he had generated since he had assigned them to the company in exchange for stock. He had to work at various electrical repair jobs and as a ditch digger for two dollars per day. Later in life Tesla would recount that part of life was a time of hardship, writing, My high education in various branches of science, mechanics and literature seemed to me like a mockery.